Hello, my name is Dr. Luther Smith, and you're watching another episode of Basic Bible Study Tools. Uh, this show is uh, for those who are lay people or those who just want to go a little bit deeper in their Bible study. Um, this is a show where we give you tools and equip you to uh, basically learn how to draw out what the author intended to write concerning the biblical texts. And uh, in this episode, we're going to look at what are known as conjunctions, transitional phrases, and prepositions. That's kind of what we're going to be looking at here. Now, I've already done a little bit of the groundwork um, for this uh, particular uh, lesson, um, but uh, let's go ahead and go uh, through the first two lessons that we went through uh, from the last time, and then uh, we'll go into our lesson. By the way, you can actually grab this Ephesians chapter 1 verses 1 to 10 um, uh, worksheet by going down and clicking um, on the link that takes you to a Dropbox, pa Dropbox page, and then you can download um, this form, this sheet here. Um, that will uh, give you uh, all of this, and then you can follow along with me um, if you so choose to. So right now at this point, we are just looking at observing the text. Um, if you recall from our first video, there are three steps to um, expl explaining the text and learning how to uh, use what the text says to uh, essentially use it in our lives and, 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 and um, look at certain truths from the text. Um, so the first step is observation. That's all we've been doing is just looking at the text, observing it. Um, if you look at the first episode, you guys have been asking questions concerning the text itself. Um, the last episode that we did was looking at repetition of words and phrases like that. Um, some of these will overlap, but my... Uh, if you have been following along and have been doing the uh, homework, um, your sheet is probably a lot busier than mine. Um, um, if you've not marked it up already, uh, you will have it all marked up. If you've been following along with the worksheet, um, it'll be marked up really soon. Anyway, let's go ahead and go on to the third lesson of our uh, of, uh, basic Bible study tools. So we're talking about conjunctions, transitions, and prepositional uh, phrases. So conjunctions are those words that link two uh, words uh, or two uh, phrases together. If I said that uh, me and my wife are going to the store, that's different from me just saying I'm going to the store, right? Uh, or my wife and myself are going to the store. I'm taking two subjects and I'm linking them together or taking two sentences and linking them together using a conjunctive phrase and that conjunctive phrase for the most part is the phrase and okay um, um, a transitional phrase is uh, is exactly what it is it is a transition um, a phrase in transition so if I say I went to the I was going to go to the store but I felt like I wanted something quick, so I went to a restaurant instead, right? That would be a transitional phrase. I have uh, went from one thing to another using the word um, but, right? Um, or another transitional phrase is the phrase uh, however. Um, so uh, um, I wanted to go to the movies, however, uh, I was late to it, so I decided not to go. Right. Um, so that's another transitional phrase as well. But however, right. Um, another transition is uh, uh, then. Um, so I'm uh, um, I was at the pool. For an hour, then I went to the gym afterwards and I was tired afterwards. So again, there's a transition in the uh, in the location, right? In terms of the sentence, right? So, um, but, however, then, these are all phrases that mark transition, okay? Um, prepositions are uh, those that tell us either um, an aspect or a direction or a location um, of a particular thing. So, 
For instance, when we see the word, I was among my friends, right? I was around my friends or next to my friends, right? That's a preposition. Or if I was to go to the grocery store, right? Um, or I was found at the concert. Those are uh, directional prepositions, right? Those let me know where my location is or where I'm going, right? So these, all of these um, conjunctions, transitions, and prepositions help us gain greater clarity uh, within the text itself. So let's go through the first three verses, and you'll see that some of these are marked up um, with little asterisks next to them. So I will, uh, I will read uh, uh, the first three verses. Now again, I would encourage you to read this whole thing. As a matter of fact, if you want to learn how to memorize scripture, this is the way that I do it. I memorize scripture just by, by observing the passage and trying to uh, figure out what the author uh, of the passage is trying to convey to me. It makes it more easier than just kind of memorizing and repeating a verse one time. Also, too, it helps... Um, uh, uh, with um, it helps with remembering verses in context because sometimes when you you choose to memorize a verse, it's usually divorced from its context. So it's very it's it's important to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and read the first three verses, and then we'll look at some of the phrases that are found within here. Um, it says, "Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God." To the saints who are at Ephesus and who are faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. So let's go back to verse 1 and let's see these phrases here. So Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. Uh, by, again, is a prepositional phrase because it tells us uh, uh, by what way is Paul an apostle of Christ Jesus. Okay? And that's very important um, um, in terms of explanation. Okay? So, so uh, we want to mark that down. Okay? That Paul is a, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will or the desire of God. Two... That's another uh, uh, prepositional phrase. The saints who are at Ephesus. This is uh, a preposition of location. Okay. And uh, conjunction, right? Bringing these two things together. The saints who are at Ephesus and who are faithful in Christ Jesus. Bringing them together. Grace to, right, you. And... Peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We see these are two separate persons. Okay? Here, with the conjunction and. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. So we see uh, in is another preposition, okay? Um, um, that refers to uh, sometimes identity. It also refers to where these blessings are, 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 where the origins of them are, right? They are in the heavenly places, right? Uh, according to Paul. And they are in Christ, right? So, here we have, um, just very briefly, if we can count the conjunctions, we have one, Two, three, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four. Four conjunctions, right, which is located here. Right? Four conjunctions in, this, in, this, uh, in, in these first three verses. Um, we have no transitional phrases, no buts, no thens, no howevers. We don't have those in this text, okay? Um, so far, at least in the first three verses, okay? How many prepositions do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
We have seven, actually. I put six, but I forgot one. So we have seven. We have four conjunctions, zero transitions, and seven uh, prepositions. Okay. So again, these are important uh, because these help us uh, uh, underscore um, um, who, who's this about, who's the audience, what are some of the main details of the subject of the sentence, um, who's doing the work. All of these are the result of who's doing the work. All of these are found within this text, and prepositions and conjunctions and transitions are important because we are following the thought of the author. That's the whole point. Okay? So uh, your homework assignment for this week is to go and look at the conjunctions, find the conjunctions, find the transitions, okay, and find the prepositions all through verses 1 to 10. Okay, verses 1 to 10. Find the conjunctions, the transitions, and the prepositions. Okay. Um, now, next week, uh, we are going to be looking at uh, something different. We're going to uh, look at, uh, we're going to take our, our 10 verses and put them up on the computer because there might be some things that you might want to look at in terms of words and uh, phrases and all that stuff. So, we're going to observe, um, um, we're going to do some observation from the computer, but I'll leave that next week. Until then, um, continue to look for prepositions and conjunctions and transitional phrases, if there are any, in this passage. Okay. Uh, this is uh, another uh, episode of Basic Bible Study Tools. If you like it, please um, uh, subscribe. Uh, hit the like button if you uh, if you choose to, and um, you know share this video and all the others uh, to help those who want to have a deeper understanding of God's word and dig a little deeper in terms of their study. So um, until next time, uh, this is Dr. Luther Smith with Basic Bible Study Tools. Grace and peace to you guys, and have a wonderful week. All right, bye bye.